What we see happening across all the OEMs is a push towards more advanced architectures or SVA. The acceleration of the changes in vehicle architecture to enable that software defined vehicle to be real, to be actually to be developed, to be maintained over its life. Smart vehicle architecture is putting all of that together. The architecture of the vehicles from today was built in the 1980s. You can imagine the OEMs, they're really transitioning their entire internal combustion engine platforms over to battery electric vehicles. When you go with a electrified system, kind of what we call a skateboard, and you take out all of the internal combustion engine legacy content, you have a tremendous opportunity to upgrade your architecture at that point. To support level two plus and beyond in the future, you know, hands-free driving, autonomous driving, we need to change the architecture of the car and how it's designed today. We have come up with an architecture which follows application and software code best practices by introducing a layered architecture and by introducing a modular architecture. We need the um, abstraction of hardware and software to have independent development cycles during the development, but also later uh, while the car is in serial production for, for updates. We have components which can stay there a whole car life, like the CDC, because you don't need an update of the compute performance, but other components, uh, which similar to our mobile phones, uh, needs updates. So in the long run, uh, it will teach the automotive industry how to keep a car fresh in the field for the entire lifetime of the car. This zone architecture will all allow us to really be like just a part of a cloud. So the vehicle will be really much more integrated with the cloud to make only one kind of one big uh, system together. It really opens up the opportunity for data as well as information to flow seamlessly between the car, its environment. It allows for upgrades like battery management systems and battery control algorithms. We can reduce the production time on the OEM side as well. So they have less, less logistics, they have less parts to be installed into the car and we have our patented dock and lock system so that we can bring in brackets, uh, wiring harnesses, uh, flat rigid wiring harnesses and then the ECU as the last part robotically automated installed so that um, economizes them a lot of um, process and working time. Dramatically simplifying the wiring harnesses, making it much easier to install, assemble, as well as to lower the total cost of the system. We have a, a ability to provide product portfolio across the entire spectrum of the architecture. And really where we can bring that advantage to play is when we're able to work with the OEMs early. So that's what we do well at Aptiv. Uh, we, we take the system requirements from the customer. Um, we understand their packaging limitations and we're able to uh, take the system and manage the trade-offs. We understand high performance compute. We understand how to manage high complexity software. And we've proven that we're an industry leader with domain, zonal, and now high-performance compute controllers. So it's a really credit to our teams to be able to see around the corner and understand how the industry is going to evolve and really develop that software-defined vehicle.